Hi, this is Greg with Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take you for a walk around the Lamar Gooseneck Dump Trailer. This is the Classic Series Dump Trailer, which has the double channel frame. They also make the low profile, which has the 8 inch I beam frame. The trailer's got a few options on it. We're going to take you for a walk around, show you some features, and what's optional on the trailer. First of all, I want to start out up front. Of course, it is a gooseneck, so they do the I-beam uprights and I-beam neck. One nice thing we like about Lamar is how they do the I-beam. They keep it the whole way to the outside, gives you a very stable trailer, and then it also gives you a very big toolbox. Standard is a 110 volt charger for charging your battery. Of course, you got your 20 foot remote cord with your power up, power down, and your spring assisted dual drop leg jacks. Inside the toolbox, they do the battery in a nice separate housing, so you're not going to arc off the uh, terminals. Power up, power down, hydraulics, KTI pump. This particular unit's equipped with an optional solar charger. So there's the uh, box, and then you got the charger up on top of the neck. And you got the other half of the toolbox sectioned off for your straps and binders. Okay, up in the neck you see a spare tire which comes standard on gooseneck dumps. And then of course your gooseneck is adjustable. It's got four different adjustments. Of course your safety chains and seven pin plug. One nice part I like about the dump design are your neck gussets. It gives some extra strength to the trailer. Tarp kit is optional but we put it on most all of our dump trailers. One nice part about the tarp kit is the sail bar. You'll notice that bar at the end keeps your tarp nice and straight, so on deployment, uh, everything uh, gets there in one piece, and when you roll it back in, it's not binding up on you. This does have the optional two foot solid sides, so your standard sides are two foot, two foot additional optional sides. They are easily removable, it's just a couple bolts in the corners, and they slip down into stake pocket uprights. So if you don't buy the, uh, the optional side extensions, you can build your own wood side extensions there. And then of course you got your vertical uprights for strength going down the sides. Now this particular unit's equipped with 8,000 pound axles, okay? A dump trailer this size, really somebody ought to consider putting on uh, the 8K axles. 7K axles when you get to this size could pretty quickly be overloaded. A lot of people think, oh, 1,000 pound GVW, the running gear can't be that different. And the answer is they couldn't be more wrong. To the right, we've got a 7,000 pound brake assembly. And I just want to take a close up and show you how significantly different the running gear truly is. This is an 8,000 pound uh, brake assembly. So I just want to show you your pad thickness is about three times thicker. And of course, you got a much more powerful magnet. And, uh, just want to let you know as well, the 8K brake assembly is the same brake assembly that goes on a dual tandem. So for those thinking a dual tandem dump is getting them more braking power, you're actually wrong. The empty trailer weighs more, so therefore an 8K axle, as far as an electric setup, is going to give you the maximum braking capacity. Okay, so whenever you jump to the 8K axle upgrade, as we said, this one's got you're automatically gonna jump to oil bath hubs instead of grease. That's important because that's gonna disperse your heat much better and give you less chance of having a, uh, a bearing issue down the road. Okay, you're also gonna go to either a 16 inch or 17.5 rubber. Either one's suitable for the trailer. This particular one's equipped with 16s. Double broke tread plate fenders are standard. Moving back, you got a um, you got a set of four inch D-rings inside the trailer and then also outside the trailer. That is there to hook your door back. Now this door goes the whole way back tight against the fender, whereas some of them come out to a 90 and that would leave your door potentially uh, exposed for whenever you lift the bed up. Grease zerts come standard on your, uh, on your rear gate. Okay, we put a set of undermount ramps underneath the trailer for you. That way you can load your equipment. Sealed beam LED lights are standard for your stop turn tails and then your bullet lights for your markers. Okay, full height cam door lock makes it nice. Seals that door up top to bottom instead of just at the bottom as some do. Okay, inside the trailer, uh, this particular unit comes equipped with a seven gauge floor. So this is for a serious commercial user. You'll find a lot of floors are gonna be pieced together. Some of them use 10 gauge 
In fact, many use 10, some use 11 or even 12 gauge. This is seven gauge floor with a 16 inch on center structural channel floor. This is one of the solidest floors you're gonna find in the industry. Four inch D-rings, again, standard. See a nice heavy duty 5 8 inch ring. Got those into four corners. Two foot high side walls. Okay, whenever you go with your side extensions, you're gonna have a bar at the back. It's gonna tie your sides together. Okay, as far as your actual door, you've got tube around the corners, and then at the top, you got a nice heavy duty rolled piece of formed. Gives you lots of strength. Okay, three way gate on this particular trailer is standard, so the gate can swing like a dump truck. It'll barn door open up or you can lay it down like a pickup truck six inch double channel mainframe standard and then this particular unit's also got a six inch tube bed frame that's important because most manufacturers are using a three or sometimes even a four inch tube this is a very heavy duty bed frame Can you shut that okay, I'm gonna show you the underside of the trailer then before we finish to show you exactly what's underneath your dome. So a scissor hoist for lift. We all know a scissor hoist is a very strong hoist. It uh, resists racking whenever you're on uneven terrain. So here's your six inch double channel frame. Now double channel frame is a nice frame because with tube, you always got a little bit of a chance under significant overloading that it, uh, that it could twist on you because it's a double wall and getting two walls of steel to flex at the same rate. Channel uh, is nice in this application because when you take two pieces of channel and face together, you get a very thick, very solid frame, but yet the two pieces of channel are still independent of one another. Okay, you got your undermount ramps. Those ramps are about seven foot in length. Again, you've got your uh, three inch channel floor cross member 16 on center. And then you've got your scissor hoist. This is an oversized scissor. You'll notice once this dump gets up, it's, it's up there. It's got a nice angle to it. So folks, most dumps get about a 45 degree angle. This one here, you're gonna notice, gets a little bit steeper angle. So you should be able to get anything out, even your frozen sticky clays and those sort of things. Uh, this particular unit with 8,000 pound axles, it's gonna weigh about 5,000 pounds empty as equipped. So that's gonna give you about 11,000 pound payload plus tongue weight. Tongue weight, you're gonna get another 3,000 to 3,500 pounds. So you can handle about 14,000 pounds, give or take on this particular unit. If you have any questions, visit us on the uh, web at bestchoicetrailers.com or you can give us a ring at 717-220. 4220. Thanks for looking.